Hello everybody, it's Gwen with CraftyLadyDesigns.com. It's a Tuesday. We are here today to do a new project. We're going to do an altered canvas, which we haven't done before. I, uh, I've i done several. I haven't done one for a while. Um, and then I'm also going to show our project that we that I completed uh, that I, last week. I, I did post it uh, for everybody to see. And uh, my Judy... Hi, Vicki, Cindy Lou. We got a nice crowd uh, here today. Margaret Ann, Miss Pris, Gep, Linda. Who else? Who else? Who else? So I'm going to start out by showing you the finished product that we did last week. This was our uh, um, mini album that we did on the fly, quite frankly. And we didn't get it all finished last week. We had two classes on it. I did make a few changes and add some things. I had indicated that I was going to change this flower down here, which I did. This was a nice big one. And the one I had when we finished up the other day was too big. I took it off. If you want to take anything off with hot glue, you just use a, a heat tool. Hi, Jenny. Hi, honey. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, Judy. Uh, and I put a smaller one. Now I could have maybe even put even a little smaller. And then I had so much, I don't know if you can see it, but underneath here, I had so much tape build up. It was white. It looked crappy. I took that all off. And I used about a fourth of an inch thick uh, fun foam. Just a small, one small black square. And it's really kind of back in there. And it's really kind of hard to see. I uh, finished the. Uh, uh, spine. I took some peach colored uh, cardstock and just run it through a, a punch, punched out the scallops, put it on, put the green stripe on top of it. Then I punched a hole with my uh, crocodile. This is a Tim Holtz uh, little binding, not binding ring, but it's you know you hang the things on it. And this this was a piece of the chipboard that come in the collection. I added her and run that through the hole in the top of the chipboard and then I put a key and a bird, a little bird and a little key. Thank you. Now on the inside, I added, this was finished other than this, I added that little tag and you could stamp something on there if you wanted to. Now I had, I had already um, finished all the fronts with the uh, chipboard pieces. But I took the cut aparts and I cut this out and I mounted all of them on the back of a piece of chipboard. Now this one I added, when I cut this off, she'd been cut off uh, the bottom. I'd apparently used something and she'd come from the back and so I, uh, she was shorter which was fine. But I took a piece of trim and I added it on the bottom, put her on a piece of chipboard and put her down in here. Now don't forget you've got, you know, you've got these as well. And then I took six of the ATC uh, Graphic 45 tags and covered all of them and put them in the back side over here. Now here's another cut apart. There again, every one of these are on chipboard. Uh, and that says, uh, th these kind of correlate. For example, this says best wishes and there's the bride. This says happy anniversary, and there is the couple dancing as if they're dancing at their anniversary party. And then here's another uh, ATC card, Graphic 45 ATC. This I made. I had this square piece of cardstock, and I put it on chipboard first, and then I have a Tim Holtz on the edge. Uh, die on the edge dies now it's about this long but I just laid this on top if you want to do to bevel the edge so it rounds nicely always put your front upside down so I put it upside down on the die and of course cut it off and that made this pretty little uh, topper here and then I just added that's out of my stash my god I've had this for a hundred years and it made a cute little uh, embellishment we're going to, uh, Carol had mentioned doing doing a class on embellishments. I think I will. I think that'd be fun to do. So that just sticks down in there. It's cute. Uh, here is another uh, ATC 
G45. These are from Graph uh, from uh, Scrap a Dabba Do. This one says special invitation, and here's the baby. Isn't it cute? The baby. And another uh, graphic 45. And I have that little clip in my stash. I just stuck, and it is not yellow. It is coral. That looks yellow. My goodness. It's coral. And uh, and this, I, I did the same. This is my, I made this. Uh, it's a piece of uh, uh, chipboard, dear word. Covered it with paper. I rounded two of the corners and left two of them square. Now this is a chipboard piece out of the collection. I put it on top, run a, a brad through it, and on the back I covered up, tried to cover up, excuse me, as best I could, the legs off the brad with a little, and this was out of the collection as well. And it just, and, and I cut it so you could see it says time to celebrate. And that goes in here with that one. Oh, lousy. With, with that. Now here's another uh, ATC card. Here's the little girl. Happy birthday. And then this little tag says happy birthday. And it's got the balloons and whatever. So I put her in here. This is another tag. Just I use just scraps of paper, quite frankly. Now, I normally don't do inside the back, but I did. I don't know why. I just saw these three oversized whatever. Well, they're not oversized. They come out of the uh, 8 by 8 pad. And there's happy anniversary. It's party time. Graduation. It kind of covers uh, the collection and the, and the themes behind it. And then I just added some little baby flowers. Snuck them in there. Uh, and there's room for it. There's certainly room for it. I just, I, I propped them up. I propped that up on a piece of uh, uh, fun foam, the back, and then glued it down. And nothing on here, but nothing on the very back. So there it is. And I think, it, I love the paper. I, I just, I just, hi, Carol. Hi, honey. Thank you, Cindy Lou. Uh, so there it is. There were the little buttons I put up there, and of course behind it is the doily that I made with the, the uh, with the punch. They do have that punch. Uh, it's I forget the name of it. I can never remember. Oh, what is the name of that punch? They do have it at Scrap and Dabba Do. They do have it back in. Thank you, Ella. Thank you very much. Hi, Judy. Hey everybody. Well, I like it. I uh, it's busy. It really is busy. I just love this paper so and used it, and uh, it 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 look well. It's busy. It just looks different in real life. I mean, you can then see the elements and whatever. So I wanted to show you that completed because I said I'd complete it, and I did post it, and I didn't post the dimensions. I do think. That on my, and I got some new people on my uh, blog, Arabesque, thank you, Jenny, you're right, Ara I can never remember that or that other word of groups of set of parts. Uh, hi, So, hi, honey, how are you? Thank you. Um, because we've made that album before, and it is it is a simple album, and, and, and if you're just starting out, uh, it would be an album to make. Uh, we made... Well, no, that one we made with the cookbook wouldn't like it. So today we are going, I, I hope you enjoy this. I tell you, it's, I have everything I own. I can't, I couldn't get out if I had to. I hope we don't have a fire or anything. Well, I'd manage. We are going to do an older canvas. Now, this is a stretch canvas. This is a 12 by 12 uh, stretch canvas. And it is. It is one and a half inches, one and a half inches deep. I used to paint. I used to do oil paintings. And I used to stretch my own canvases. I'd buy the stretcher bars and I'd buy a roll of canvas. I looked at the price of a roll of canvas today and my word. And it wasn't cheap back then, but I don't recall that. Well, I know it wasn't anything like today. I couldn't have done it. But uh, I painted for years. I took lessons for years from a lady 
uh, that didn't live too far from me, and she was, God rest her soul, she's, oh, she was a sweetheart, and, um, uh, but anyway, I love working with real canvas. Now, I've used canvas board, and you could use canvas board. And there's some new things covered, and I don't know if scrap a dab is going to get these in or not. Uh, but uh, uh, they're a, a board, but they're covered with fabric. Not the jute or the whatever. It's a fabric, and they're, they're kind of neat. But anyway, this is a stretch canvas. Uh, my theme. I, I, as I say, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Now, I'm using a ton of stuff that you can either get at scrap a dab -a doo or I have in my stash. I, uh, I had an idea of what I was going to do. Uh, 8 by 10, you can use any size. Any size, this has, this happens to be square, 12 by 12. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I didn't end up doing it like I was going to do it. Uh, my focal point is the butterfly. <gasps> Can you see the butterfly? The butterfly. Now, this is a different die cut butterfly. This is a framelit type die fly. Uh, die fly. Uh, it's a monarch. Uh, now, you could use the Tim Holtz. They have that at uh, a scrap a dab a do the uh, die. Uh, I'm reading here. I don't know how to do my auto. I don't think I have an autofocus. I've got a long, long something camera. I don't have a camera camera where you take pictures and, and you know, I don't have. If I do, I don't know where it is. Judy, I have no idea. Uh, so anyway, my focal point is the butterfly. And now I have done a lot of preliminary work simply because of time. I uh, first thing I did was paint this canvas with white with gesso all over it and let it dry. And then I painted it with uh, a titanium type beige. I have tried to find, let's see, it is unbleached titanium, whatever that means. And it's a beige, but and I've had some, that's a different, I don't know, they, they have different, this is okay. This is probably one I like better than most. Uh, so I painted this ahead, so it feels kind of sticky still. In fact, quite frankly, I should have done it last night, but it's okay. It's dry. Uh, I'm using, I'm using, uh, now these da, or these sprays are from Scrap-A-Dab-A-Doo. 